What's up my kings, queens, and trolls of YouTube? This is your girl Queen C with another S Queen C. Don't mind my hair dryer back there. That's where all the magic happens. Okay, so here's today's question. Dear Queen C, let me start off by saying I like your videos. I just watched the ones on leaving and cleaving and they were very good. I'm a Christian woman and I would like to be able to share your videos on my page. The problem is I may offend my other Christian friends. Yeah, the problem is I may offend my other Christian friends. My question is, don't you think your videos may be shared more if you probably didn't use so much profanity? Be encouraged, Patricia. Okay. So, <laughs> Patricia, I'm just going to call you proper Patty. Um, let me tell you something. I honestly um, respect everybody's religion. Um, you know, so I I'm not going to say anything about Christi Christianity or anything else because um, to me, Whatever it is you practice, as long as you're not running around killing people and you're doing good in this world and you're positive in this world, I don't care what religion you are. But I will say this. There's Joel Olstein and there's Queen C. I like Joel Olstein. No offense to him. But he delivers his messages the way he sees fit with his knowledge. I deliver my messages the way I see fit with my knowledge. Now, I have grown up under domestic violence. I have had to grow up under parents who were drug abusers and, and with an alcoholic father. I have um, been in situations where I was almost raped. I was almost molested. Um, I have had to fend for myself at a very early age. I had to drop out of high school to take care of my younger brother. There are so many things that I've gone through in life. I've been married twice and I've been divorced, of course, once. And I have had in-law problems. I've had friendship problems. You know, I've had situations when I was younger to where, um, you know, I didn't know if I was going to be able to Eat, if there was going to be food on the table, you know, I had to struggle. My life was a struggle. So because I am passionate about my life and I am passionate about the things that I've gone through, I express myself the way I feel. And sometimes that comes with profanity because that's how the fuck I feel. I'm passionate about what I have to say because when I was going through these things there was no YouTube there was no social media there weren't any outlets you know I had to go basically to church I was forced you know to go to church up until I was old enough to make a conscious effort and say I don't want to go here now while I was in church I seen so many terrible things you know I, I attended a church where the pastor was a hypocrite you know there were some some terrible, terrible, terrible things in there that could have possibly turned me away from God. However, I still have a relationship with God. And because I choose to express myself the way I do, it's not blocking any of my blessings. I, I assure you of that. When I was a young girl, I remember going to South Street in Philly. And it was me, um, quite a few guys, and another one of my girlfriends. And we were running around and we were playing around. And one of my guy friends, he, you know, grabbed me up. But he was just joking. But there was a bum actually sitting there. And the bum didn't know he was joking. And the bum said, oh my God, I sure hope that isn't your boyfriend because you don't deserve to be treated like that. You should be treated like a queen. Okay? So now, here I am, a young girl, and the first time that I ever had been told that I should have been treated like a queen was by a bum on the street. The bum on the street. So it wasn't who was delivering the message. It was the message that was important. So I took that bum's message and, you know, I kept it here because even he recognized that, you know, 
I was somebody that deserved to be treated good. So we have a lot of people out here in social media land and YouTube land and stuff like that. And they're going through something. And these people don't want to sit there and hear dry ass sermons about certain subject matters. They want to hear the raw, uncut, unsugarcoated truth. And that's what I'm here for, to give it raw. I'm not here to sugarcoat it. I'm not here to make it pretty. I'm here to give it raw. Because when you're living that shit, it's raw. When you're struggling and your marriage is falling apart, it's raw. Have you ever seen Mary Mary when she found out how her husband was cheating on her and her reaction and her behavior? She used profanity because it came from here. It was raw. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. Now, I'm sorry, you know, if, if it's too hot for your church friends to handle, you know, and that's okay with me because I can't please everybody. But what I will say is this, if any time you are facing something and you need to hear something raw and uncut that matches your emotion, you tune into Queen C because Queen C is going to forever, forever, ever, ever keep it the fuck real. Okay. Now, if anybody else would like to email Queen C and ask her questions, you can do that by sending a message to queencreshonda at gmail.com. If you have any products you would like for me to try and do reviews on, you can also contact me there. I'll try your product. You can send it to me and I'll do a review on how I feel when I first try it. And then I'll wait a while, maybe about a week or so, and I'll do another review sharing how, you know, the, the product benefited me or how I felt about it. Um, I also have two younger daughters. One is nine and the other is 19. They also will help me try things that may be, you know, teenage or child friendly. So again, you can email me at queen Krishanda at gmail.com and proper patty i thank you for emailing me i hope you continue to watch my videos even if it is your dirty little secret you don't have to share it with your christian friends but you never know who may actually benefit from my videos so if you want to share it put a warning up let people know if you're worried about what people will think about you watching my videos then you know don't do it but either way I'm going to always be me. Peace from the Sea Hive.